I think the hard part is heart disease as a general term. And uh, there are a lot of different things that, that can happen with the heart. And I think most people primarily identify with heart blockage uh, and what we call coronary artery disease because that's such a common problem and thing that people have to deal with. But there are a number of other abnormalities of the heart and conditions that people can have possibly with completely normal arteries. They can have heart rhythm abnormalities, structural problems in the heart. The one that people most commonly think about is, is artery blockage and what can they do to prevent it? What can they do if they have it? Those sorts of concerns. Probably 60 to 70 percent of the people that we see on a day-in and day-out basis are people with coronary artery disease or some issue that's related to that, uh, consequences that can occur because of heart disease like a weak heart muscle which is called congestive heart failure or heart arrhythmias created by having arterial blockage. So it's a very common problem in our country. Uh, unfortunately, it's still one of the leading causes of death in the United States. Patients are sent by their primary care physicians because of concerns that they may have heart disease, may have coronary artery disease. Perhaps they have symptoms that are suggesting that maybe they are at risk for that and wanting to have further evaluation. Uh, but a number of our patients actually do come to us of their own accord. They're concerned about their risk or concerned about history in the family and they want to be evaluated. Uh, so we are increasingly seeing people refer themselves, try to be proactive about finding out what their risk is and what they can do to reduce it. There's a number of diagnostic tests that we do. Uh, people have heard of uh, the idea of a stress test or a treadmill test. There's a number of different types of tests that we do on the heart to see how does the heart respond to physical stress. Some of the tests involve ultrasound imaging to look at the heart structure and function. And then as we move on to the more uh, detailed and invasive studies, we will do things like what are referred to as a coronary angiogram is the most common term used for when we uh, place a catheter inside the arteries and go up to the heart and, and take pictures of the blood vessels to the heart. And that's typically done to actually diagnose the extent of blockage and potentially to uh, restore blood flow by using balloons and stents. And uh, so there's all sorts of tools and things that we have uh, to help us uh, to, to improve blood flow to the heart. Or sometimes we may end up recommending uh, bypass surgery, which is uh, more of an open heart surgical procedure, depending on what we find. There's some really, you know, standard basic things. Don't smoke cigarettes and don't use tobacco products. Manage the risk factors for heart disease. Blood pressure management. So people with high blood pressure need to get their blood pressure under control. Cholesterol is an additional uh, prominent risk factor in heart disease and vascular disease. Other sort of basic things which feed into everything else I've talked about uh, refer to a person's general health and welfare. So taking good care of, uh, of yourself and eating a healthy diet, um, exercising on a regular basis, and keeping your weight within an acceptable range. And those are simple basic things. Given the broad scope of all the different problems that a person could have with their heart, our approach at Swedish is to cover all of those different areas. And we have within our group of cardiologists, uh, cardiovascular surgeons and vascular surgeons, we all see patients and evaluate them and do general evaluations, but then we all have special areas of interest that we work in. Uh, so my area is interventional cardiology, which is dealing with artery blockages and peripheral vascular blockage. We have other specialists in congestive heart failure, arrhythmia problems, heart surgery, valvular heart disease, vascular disease, all the, all the different problems. So one of the good things is you can come to one place and we can take care of whatever the problem is. Mm -hmm.